All right, uh, Cobra Pildas, Cobra Builders, Cobra People, and Enthusiasts, and Replica Builders. Um, hinges, door hinges are, in my opinion, one of the trickiest things to get working on these. That's the two pieces, upper and lower, of a door hinge. You've got a, a J-hook or a J-shaped plate. You've got a little rectangular plate that bolts to the plate on the door. There's one of those upper and lower on the door hinges. We'll look at them on the car. The reason I have them pulled up on the screen is I wanted to show you the difference between these. Now, if you get this pivot point on the hinge out as close as you can to the outer skin of the uh, door opening or the bodywork of the car, you can see that that will open a pretty reasonable way before the door skin starts to hit against the bodywork. That's pretty disastrous when you've just put, I don't know how many thousand dollars into a paint job. So if you move that pivot point just a little further inward, uh, inward and away from the bodywork, um, that becomes a real problem. As you can see here, this has got the, um, well, there's two problems. One is, the door crashes, uh, the front leading edge of the door, if it'll even get by the opening, will crash into the front fender and the bodywork and the paint. The other problem is it restricts the door from opening to a decent angle. And you can see the difference there in the angles of opening on the doors. And I have played with this in several different scenarios and rotated the door open around the hinge pin, as you can see. So that's a little bit of the CAD drawing and the theory. Let's go take a look at it in practice. So we've got door hinges, which we're going to look at on the door. I have here the little latch boxes. And the reason I'm showing you these is because there's two different depths of the same latch box here where we screw the latch onto it. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can adjust the back end of the frame in or out uh, on its position. Let's go take a look at a door frame. Two main pieces of a door frame. We've got the long piece at the bottom and we have the shorter piece at the top. Uh, so what I do is I bend up the bottom part of the door frame and get that mocked up like you saw on the trunk where I get that as close as I can to the opening where things like the hinges are, and the front of the tube are all fairly parallel to the opening I have to work with. Uh, you can see I've done my same trick where I clamp a plate to the bodywork, I clamp a plate to the bodywork, I put a shim in behind it and a shim in behind it to simulate the thickness of the skin that's going to be put on there. And at that point, I've got my hinge, um, and you can see looking at it, this pivot point on the hinge, this pivot point on the hinge is as far out as I can get it. It's as close to that outside skin as I can get that pivot point. And so what I'll do to get that pivot point out as far as I can is I will make this bracket, this hinge bracket, and I will make that in a configuration that fits the cowl hoop, and I'll make it as far out as the bodywork allows on that car. So you can see, looking inside my door hinge, the upper and lower J plates, the rectangle plates that bolt it to the door hinge plate. Um, you can see at this point we've got the front end of this mocked up, shimmed, lined, and then we're ready to start tacking this stuff together. Um, we'll do the same thing on the back end of it where we'll put the um, latch in place, the latch box in place, get the uh, alignment of the bodywork to the door frame, and then we can start tacking that back end of it together. Let's take a look at the other side, which is a little further along than this. 
and we have the setup shown there with the hinge that's all put together tacked together in place um, same deal we've got different uh, hinge plates from one side to the other <coughs> excuse me hinge brackets from one side to the other to get that pivot point out as far as we can um, I've got this uh, hinge tacked together uh, first time I got really good access to an original Cobra I was really excited I was taking measurements I was tracing things like the shape of these J plates on the hinges and just when I thought I'd got the gold standard and exactly the right shape to make original style door hinges I looked across at the other side of the car and saw that they were totally different from one side of the car to the other what they will do is they will um, take things like these plates and they will assemble them up on the car and tack them together just like you're seeing this has had done to it um, so they'll tack those together with them lined up on the car and that's where they work and if the J plate is hanging off the back end of it or if it slid forward off the front of it then that's where it goes uh, it's just whatever it takes to line up this door frame in the opening of the car on the back end you'll see I've got the latch set up there on the latch box uh, again all tacked in place I've got my striker plate um, just clamped in place for you know making it work on the frame um, everything's lining up pretty good I've just roughed in the alignment of the panel so the uh, door skin has just been roughed in for alignment at this point and I'm trimming back on edges to um, get that door skin to fit into the opening and I wrapped this door skin over the bottom tube of the door clamped it all into place on that and then I removed the door from the car and I fitted the top tube the one that goes inside this part of the door I fitted that up to the clamped together frame with the door skin when it was on the bench and tacked that in place which now means that my door frame fits my door skin um, just a little trick I've been using on something like getting that door opening roughed in I've put electrical tape because it's fairly flexible I put it off the edge of the panel I know the thickness of it I then take my fat tip sharpie my fat tip marker pen and I blacken out the uh, edge of the door panel and then I come around here with my dial calipers and I do the width of the tape plus a little bit for a width of a body gap or a door gap and then I bring my calipers around the edge of the tape and I use that to scribe a line which you can see there on the edge of the panel uh, and so that gets me kind of roughed into place with getting a panel to fit the opening um, fiberglass body fitting tricks um, it's similar process for fitting up the flashing on an aluminum car and an aluminum door but you'd be doing it to the uh, the flashing and not to the panel itself because the flashing is what decides the shape size location of the skin so a couple of tips and tricks for uh, putting doors together um, it's a tough thing to do or I found it's a tough thing to do uh, really tricky on things like the hinges and that trick is to get that hinge pivot point out as close as you can to the body opening on this side um, and make sure it fits around your cowl hoop um, that the front of your J plates aren't banging into your cowl hoop or restricting your hinge opening uh, at this point well why don't I show you the results of all this work I can now unlatch that door and it's just clearing on that opening there and the panel hasn't been gapped yet and so now the door is all set up on the car to clear the front of the opening I'm swinging and swinging 
and you can see I'm almost out to about the limit of my hinges there where they're going to start touching the bodywork and I still have a gap between the skin and the front fender and looking at it from above you can see that the door is a nice wide opening uh, a nice wide swing makes it real easy to get into these little cars so we will be back to you with more progress as this car keeps coming together